Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's edition of Stocks and Slots. Joe Man. Tuesday, March 30th. One more day left, and we close the month of March out. Did we finish in the positive? Did we finish red for the month? Tell you what, it's been a very, very brutal and tough month. It's been a, it's actually been a, probably the worst performing month for my portfolio. Uh, in 2021, unless there's a stupendous day tomorrow, which anything could happen. Definitely anything could happen. So let's look at today's topic, shall we? Today, we're going to look at today's top performing sectors. We're going to look at sundial growers. And then we're, these are some CSCW up 28% today. PFMT up 20% today. We're going to take a look at those, and we're some very aggressive movers today, so we're going to take a look at those. Also, we're going to take a peek at my account, what I did. I had a green day today, which is encouraging, especially since the market was red. And also, if y'all wouldn't, please click that like and subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. All right, so let's jump right into it, folks. The top performing sectors today, again, I believe this was similar to yesterday, consumer discretionary leading the sectors today up 1.22%, followed by industrials and financials coming in third, uh, communication services up 0.31%. The other ones kind of fell in the middle there. The worst performing sectors today was energy. Energy is just being, you know, it was such a, energy was such a hot sector for me from November to the end of February, but it has been a brutal month for the energy sectors here in March. And again, this is a, a worse performing sector. I'm glad I've adjusted my portfolio accordingly because at one time, I mean, I was 90% energy in my portfolio. Luckily now it's probably more at about uh, 20% probably. Um, so we'll get into that as well. So that is your top performing sectors today and your worst performing sectors today. Next, we're going to look at, let's look at sundial growers here and see what sundial. So if y'all have been following any of my videos, I have mentioned of this support line. I have been talking about a support line between a dollar eleven, dollar thirteen, and it appears as if the support is starting to sh to be very strong. Let's look at this ten day chart, and it can really start showing. So if we go all the way back to well, we can go back to even, you know, March 25th is when it's really, it's starting to be established. Of course, on the 25th, we did not know that was a support, but it has been. Um, I believe this was, that was at, at about $1.12, $1.13. And again, we have rode that, that between that $1.10 and $1.13, $1.14 now uh, for the last one, two, three, four, five trading days. So there's definitely a support line. Now, when there is a support line, it means it's not a bad time to buy. Um, so I definitely see a support on sundial growers. And again, I am not giving anybody any financial advice. This is from this is just my observation, my analysis of sundial. And I have been speaking of a support, and it appears there's a pretty obvious support here. Support means ground level, and it's not a horrible time to buy a sundial. There's plenty of room for sundial to go up. So when the support line is reached, it's definitely encouraging, saying, hey, it may not be a bad time to buy, especially when the bleeding has stopped. So, so today was a, a very, it was a down market. I think the Dow finished negative 120. Um, so there was a couple of big movers today, and I'm going to look at this in real time with you guys. 
as I have not looked at this yet. This is just some key stuff I wanted to look at. Well, that one, let's look at this one. Uh, Performant, is this, was this the big gainer? Yes, so we're going to look at this one. Performant Financial Corporation, up 34 cents today. 22.82%. Here we go. Performant financial shares are trading ha higher after the company reported uh, for year 20 sales results of 68.5 million, up 58% from last year. Hey, that's a big movement there. 34, 34 cents on that 22.82. So this was a very, and this was a, even though it was a blood, bloody day for the most part through the market, down 120. This one was not. So let's see where this thing, I'm really curious. Let's see what, so, so yes, this one has been pretty flat. I mean, definitely a support there. Holy cow, let's look at this. Now this is possibly a, uh, so this is, you know, it, was, it looks like this, let's look at the one month chart here of, PFMT. I just want to see if it's maybe, does it deserve to go into the watch list? If it's in the watch list, there's a pretty good chance that it won't, I'm going to buy. Um, I don't, I don't, this is not a buy opportunity right now, of course. Um, but this is a three month chart. This doesn't look too horrible. Actually, the three month overall trend of this chart, it is going up. So it's, it's, it's reacting with the industry, with the sector, it being a financial, as it is a you know a top performing sector currently, and here, like I said, this is a three month chart, and there is an uptrend going here. Uh, so obviously, it goes up, and we have some dips. It goes back up, we get a dip. It goes up, we got a dip. Right now, it's on its way back up. So not a horrible stock to put into the watch list, especially if maybe if you're a swing trader, and you know I definitely. The highs are higher and the lows are higher as well. So that's a good indication. Um, so with this trend, I would, you know, it's hard to buy anything on when it has a 34 cent gain today. But the overall trend, it has been going up. Let's shrink that up, see if we can get an idea of where. That 10-day chart is just scary looking, <laughs> honestly. Uh the three-month chart looks good. What's the six-month chart look like? Now, even back to December, we've got this incline here, so I don't know. But that was a very, that was, like I said, that one is up 22.82%. Um, I definitely, now, I would not say now is the time to buy. I would expect this thing to probably drop off. Stocks tend to have a sell-off, especially after they beat their earnings and, up 58% from last year. So obviously this, this company's making money and it's it's going places. Let's look at the valuations on this. Let's really look here, what we have here. Uh, so valuation, so uh, not very solid there. So here in the gray is PFMT. And this is important to look at these when you're looking at, at you know, see where these companies are in standings with with the industry um, so right here operating profit margin a little better than the average this is meaning the average in this industry so performing better net profit margins a little better i mean they had they obviously had pretty good they were up 58 percent um they don't offer dividends uh growth rate so this is really good they're definitely a growing company so you know they they may make it to my watch list here effectiveness um, they're doing a, it says PFMT is doing a poor job in comparisons to its peers with a return on assets. Revenues per employee, only average of managing, but they're, they're growing. Let's look at the financial strength. Now, this is a very important one here. Um, total debt to capital. They're, they're, they're better than the industry average here, which is good. A uh, change in debt total cap quarter to quarter, uh, a little dragging behind the uh, sector average. Uh, so yeah, so they they don't have that bad. Uh, you know, the valuations on this company is not very, not too bad. Uh, but anyway, so that was a big top performing. Y'all can add that to y'all's watch list if you 
seem necessary. I am probably going to, I mean, I do like this three month trend here. So I am telling you what I'm going to do, folks. I am going to add to my watch list, put that into the financial watch list of mine. I'm going to add that. Uh, for another po potential, I mean, obviously it's going up right now. I would like to buy it on a great dip, but it is in the financial industry sector, which is a top performing sector right now. So financials is not a bad one to be in for sure. So that has been added to my watch list. All right. So you always take pride in, for instance, so the market was red today. Right, it was a red day, not too bad. Red down 120 pounds, down 120 points. Not for me, I'm up 1.50 percent. I had a hundred fifty four dollar gain today, so that was that was that was good. I actually had two green days in a row. Anytime you pick up a, an overall green day when the market's red, pat yourself on the back. That's that's really good. Uh, my top performers today was HIL. If y'all have watched my video yesterday, yesterday is when I purchased HIL. My strike price was $291. I uh, purchased 1,485 shares at $291 uh, for roughly $4,300. Uh, this is what I like to see. It has set up now. I am able to swing trade this tomorrow if I want to. Uh, currently, I am up $237.60 overall after for this purchase. Uh, so I'm definitely in the green. So the ball is in my court. Um, I really enjoy the chart on Hill. I'm going to pull you, I'm going to show you all this chart again here. And again, if y'all are creating a watch list, looking for opportunities, check this chart out right here, folks. Look at this six month chart here. Tell me that's not fun. That's fun. I mean, here we go. Look at this. November, December, January, February, March, April. And I'll tell you, you look at these sectors and there's, there's always, there's rhythms and rhymes and reasons. So if you notice at the end or the very beginning of the month, it seems to be down. Not so much here, but here, yes. Here, yes. Here, yes. That's, see, that's kind of one of those notable things. It could just be a coincidence. Uh, but who knows? Because I purchased this yesterday at 291. And, you know, we're on the incline back. So I don't know if that maxes the algorithm of what I just spoke of. But overall, it doesn't matter. There is no denying Look at this chart. This is why I purchased HIL. Here we are. I've owned it two days, and it's already in the swing trade opportunity. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, so I had a, a personal goal for the month, and that was to close out this month, the end of March, at 11K. Um, so today I'm up 154 you know, I've got, you know, I really need a really big day to reach that 11K goal by tomorrow. But who knows? You know, if I, make, I made $154 on a red day, Dow's down 120. Uh, so I wonder what would that mean if, let's just say the Dow's up 300 points tomorrow. Let's say if we have a green day, we're up 300 points. wonder what that would mean for mine. It sounds like it could possibly be obtainable of reaching the 11K. If so, that would be stupendous. If not... It's all right. It's been a, you know, it's not been a fantastic March, but it's been a pretty good closing of March, which I'm all about trend. So I would rather end as a trend going up and let's start April going up. April showers. Well, folks, that's it for tonight. I hope you all enjoy tonight's editions. Uh, again, if y'all wouldn't mind, please click that like and subscribe button. And feel free to comment below my videos. Maybe, you know, leave a comment. Maybe let me know of a, a company you would want me to look in. And give a little quick analysis. We can look at valuations. Uh, tell me how y'all are doing, you know. So anyway, that's what Sundial Growers did today. That's what I did. 
What did y'all do? So anyways, I hope y'all have a fantastic night. Thanks for watching.